Oh, why the would you go for it? Bro, what you lost? Henry with another stop. I am the definition of done. Built for the keep it courage. We're gonna sit in our chair, put our back against it. Radical dude. Yo, 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 boys. Here we have it inside the mind. Pretty much this is going to be like a series where I go back and look over my MCS games and I just pretty much just tell y'all what I was thinking. You know, hopefully it can help, you know, you guys either get better at Madden or, you know, if you're just curious to see, see how I think or things like that. Uh, this is pretty much how it's going to be. So here we have our, this is my first round game versus MJ Ballhawk. Four MJ underscore Ballhawk four. This is the playoff uh, MCS tournament. This is round one. So uh, let's just go ahead and get into it. Here we have his top three. I'm home. I was a one seed, so I host every game. So this is his top three. I see two KOs and the slot apprentice. Uh, then I have flat zone KOs and stuff. I plan on running like I plan on running a lot of like blitz heavy defense, and then I was gonna have like hard flats and stuff. So I needed my hard flats to, like knock out. Um, oh my gosh, I'm actually ugly when I go. Is there a way I can skip forward without it being 30 seconds? Right, well, I'm just going to have to manually fast forward. All right, so boom, he gets ball first. I'm just setting up my defense dollar. Still no hiking yet. Fast forward a little bit. Boom, first and 10. So I, I already said going into this game. Uh, actually, let me be wrong. Going into this game, I'm playing on blitzing a lot. One thing, he t he took a uh, fair catch on the kickoff, so he's going to be in the middle of the field on the 25. So if you play Madden and like you're like a sweat, everybody who plays Madden, you just know. When you're in the middle of the field, it's like harder to play offense. So he's going to audible over to run more than likely. That's usually what everybody does. And here's what I'm going to do to tell. So he's in this. He audibles to this. Now, big thing. Hold on. Oh, can I pause and catch it? I can't catch it. So when he audibles over to this run, there's actually a tail to see if it's a run play or not. So I'm trying to pause. All right, I can't pause and catch it. It's like, I don't really, I do it too fast. But anyways, there's an A over this running back. When there's an A over the running back, that means it's like an RPO run. And the RPO run is like the only run people call out of this. So as soon as I see that, I, I like, I'm committing to the run all the way. Like I know for a fact the run is coming. So, boom, I crashed that way and everything. Uh, he only gets one yard off of it, so that was perfect. And I also keep him in the middle of the field. Big thing. Just little things like that that you just catch up on when you play the game a lot. Like, that button's randomly changing all of that. Boom. Back in this. Once again, I'm still trying to run a blitz heavy offense. He's probably not going to run the ball on second and nine. Here, I just go to send five, cover three. Motion's running back over. This caught me off guard because, like, people don't usually do this, so I had no idea what was coming. Boom, hard flat there. Knocks it out. 39 now. Here, I, I felt I definitely should have blitzed right here. I go to coverage, which actually, I, this wasn't bad defense. This isn't bad defense at all. I like this defense. I just had a bad user. I did not expect the guy, because usually, I don't know what happened on this route. Like, this route does not run like that. Like, it ran way deeper than it normally does. So, it just caught me off guard, and then this guy got fried so bad. Like, that route ran so deep, bro. So, I just, I tried to get there with my user, and I just couldn't. He ends up running and gets to the goal line. Goes to wing tight. He's calling a stretch. I knew he was running the ball. So I think I ran commit left. And yeah, it just, it didn't matter. <laughs> it didn't matter for some odd reason. I don't know about the run commit in this game. Just, it'd be tripping. So here we are. I'm on offense. And as you guys told, as I said before, his first drive, you really just want to run a ball, get to a hash. It's way easier to play offense when you're on a hash. Like more things are just open. Go back. Boom, first play. I'm just going to play regular offense here. I'm just audibling over to this dagger. This is something I lapped up with, like a few nights before that I was calling him out that I really like. Underneath guy, easy. This, I'm going to keep fast forwarding on offense. This time, he, le he leaves the crosser for the end route, so I'll just hit the crosser this time. 
This is a good play versus coverage. A lot of people like to call this like cover three meta defense now with the deep out zone KOs outside corner. So I pretty much just spam the same plays until somebody shows me they can beat it. You know, see here I am calling the same play again. Had the running back right there, don't throw it. Have the in route, easy. Grunk. Right here, I got a penalty. What happened? Oh yeah, I hiked the ball. And I missed the tight end right there. I thought I was outside the tackle box. I have no idea. So I was looking for this tight end at the start of the play, but this slot corner, I think it was him. He like played weird. So I couldn't, I like looked it off when he was like sitting on it like that, but I did have it. And then I guess, I, I guess I'm not outside the tackle box right there. I'm not sure what that was. A uh, second and 20, I noticed that I missed a tight end to play before. So I just, I literally called the same play. He uses the tight end. So I just hit the running back this time. Duke and girly touchdown. I'm not really tripping about defense because I feel like I played good defense. He just really got down the field in one big play. That just, I'm, I didn't expect what happened. So I'm not tripping about defense. Me, um, I'm blitzing heavy. I'm expecting to run right here, honestly. He audibles over the trips. So, like, when I see trips, I'm not going to lie. I'll be going cross-eyed sometimes. So I just start putting clouds and hooks. That's what I like to do. I usually just put a cloud and hook on the trip side. He runs second and nine. Doesn't really get anything. Fast forward. Motions out there. So when I see this, I, like, go to the same thing every time. Uh, I usually just go to a cover two. I feel like I played good defense, and then that guy got cooked on his route. I can't believe he threw that. That is such a wild throw to make, especially in, like, a comp setting. Like, when that pass, like, if that's if that pass is inaccurate at all, it's just an interception. Because when they mess up that pass, it's really bad. But, I mean, I guess a good read by him. Here he runs the ball. Good thing about us, we've been playing amazing run defense this game. Making somebody pass every play is the best thing. When you don't have to worry about the run ever. I think here is when I start going into, like, I'm about to start blitzing a million people. Well, I'm second and ten. Yeah, I'm, I'm just literally sending everybody. Scream at him. We dropped the pick six. TJ Watt just straight up drops it. But it's all good. I can tell he really doesn't like the blitz. I think I go back to it again right here. He audibles over to this. I think, yeah, I play coverage a little bit right here. I play coverage just in case. The only thing he can't hike is like a a running back streak or something. And he throws that. Okay, I remember now. Yeah, I have no idea how this. Was. I have no. I don't. I don't think this is open. This isn't. This does not look open to me at all. Like I don't know what happened. Like my player just doesn't turn around and like attacks the ball. He just like he just runs away. So that happened. Yeah. Uh, not sure how that's open, but anyways, I go back. He goes back to bunch. I'm going back to blitzing everybody in spinner. Uh, when you can tell somebody doesn't like a blitz, you really just want to keep abusing it. So boom, sending everybody another throw out of sack. He runs the ball on second and ten. Let's see. So when he goes to this formation, I'm I like to man up my linebacker right here to this receiver because if not, he can just call like a bubble that's unguardable because the game is just broken and bad. So I like to man up this linebacker to him. Uh, I keep the safety manned up too sometimes, uh, just in case uh, they have like a crosser or something. But boom, he runs again, nothing really there. Fast forward. 39, he audibles over to this. Uh, so my plan here was, I thought he was gonna try to try like a double corner out thing. So I manned up the safety right here and then I had a cloud on the backside. And then my user is pretty much just going to guard, like, the middle and to the left right here. Middle, underneath, and to the left. So, boom, I see all that is covered. Boom, it's perfect defense. He throws this. This right here, this is a deep out zone KO, so even if he catches it, I should be able to knock it out. And we get agged. So, <laughs> that's not good, especially on a 39. I mean, he just throws up a prayer to his running back and catches it. That's never fun, so there's that. Fast forward, first and 10, once again, in the middle of the field, so I'm just gonna hike a run play. Second and five now, uh, I'm trying to play more conservative, so I just go to calling uh, a lot more runs and RPO, so boom, hit the RPO juke, and Fitz is probably gone, one more. 
I think I had a journal right here. Yeah, journal last second. That was like literally perfect. Celebrate because it's just in my blood to celebrate after something like that. So that was a good touchdown. First and 10. He hikes a run. Once again, we've been playing great run defense. Six for 11. I mean, can't really ask for much better than that. I wish the fast forward was 30 seconds. I wonder if there's a way I can change that. It's all good though. In the future, we'll be better for it. Right here, I'm just playing coverage again. I feel like pretty much anything I do, he doesn't really like. I feel like I've been playing amazing defense this whole game. So boom, fast forward. As you guys see right here, I'm sending everybody. Third and six. Just sending the dogs at him. We use it a running back, nothing there. He caught Flood with a hitch. I haven't seen that route combo since like Madden 21. Fourth and 16. Fast forward. See what he calls right here. He hikes. We're sitting on all of that. He scrambles with Will Levis. Fumbles, picks it up. So, guys, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm just laughing, shocked because I'm like, this can't be real. Like, What's going on in this game cannot be real right now. This is like the luckiest. This guy is the luckiest player I've ever seen in my life. You see me, I'm just sitting here laughing because I, I just think it's funny because like this just can't be real. But anyways, boom, first and 10. I'm sending everybody again. He doesn't like the blitz at all. Knock the ball out. Second and 10. I've been blitzing a lot, so this is when I go out to all coverage. Or this is when I go to all out coverage. He hikes. We're sitting on everything. It's great defense. We just need a shed. Finally get one. Second and 10. Goes to third and 10. We send everybody. He throws a solo side zig route. This is actually a good play. I don't know why I backed this corner up instead of just leaving him pressed like I've been doing. Uh, but yeah, he, he calls a solo side zig route, which is crazy that that's that many yards, but it's all good. I feel like I've been playing great defense. He's really just moving by the hair. Like, he's just he's just getting out of there somehow. We just can't really make anything happen. He tries another run, second and seven. That run isn't really there for him. This is going to go to the stupid one, so I'm going to fast forward. He tries calling an RPO. I have an inside stuff. I put on inside stuff before this game just in case he was running the ball a lot and I couldn't stop it. So I have inside stuff right here and right here. Thankfully, this inside stuff right here shedded or that actually could have been bad. So boom, third and eight. Third and eight, boom. He hikes. I'm using the left. I know that's my guy on the left. I know nothing's there. He just throws the ball away. Fourth and eight now. He's just going to take three. It's like a miracle he got points. So right now, even though I'm down three, I'm like, how I'm playing the clock right here, I don't care if I score fast. I don't care if I score late. I feel like I'm playing such good defense that, like, nothing matters in this game. As long as I don't sit here and turn him the ball over, I feel like there's nothing this guy is going to be able to do to win this game. First and 10. Right there, he just played good defense. I could have hit that cross away. I got shaded before I could. Second and 10. End up calling the same play. I feel like I missed reads. Right there, have the running back. Easy. Over to his head. Yeah, so right here, I'm, I'm, I'm really not tripping about the clock at all. 40 seconds, you're at the 25, and I have one timeout. This is like this is like perfect scenario if you're on offense. Just go to my patented double post with a streak. I love this play. It's just a quick hike play, and you make a read. He leaves the post, so I can just hit that and touchdown Julio Jones. So he gets the ball out of half, or he gets the ball one more chance before half. I'm just sending everybody. I got clicked off right here, unfortunately. And he hits the drag, so that's a good read by him. First and 10. I think I'm sending everybody right here. Yeah, I'm sending everybody. Nothing really there for him. He does not like blitzing. Looking back at it, I should have blitzed this dude way more. Because I don't think he's completed one pass when I blitzed. It's either been a throwaway or a throw out of sack. He audibles over to... Uh, this bunch nasty. I think I'm sending everybody again. Let's see. I send four people. Double flats. Bad user by me. This is a really bad user. I played perfect defense right here. And I just got to be in like the middle to mid left. So I'm underneath for no reason right here. And then when I come back up, 
When I come back up, I need to be like more in the middle. I'm like, I'm running in this direction. Which low key, I think I was running this direction because he got like bumped on his route. So like he kinda he kinda he kinda got lucky right there. <laughs> Looking back at it, he kinda got lucky. He got bumped on his route, so I couldn't really make that read to get over there in time. So boom, first and ten. Looks like I'm sending the dogs. He does not like the blitz at all. So we're gonna keep doing it until he shows us he can do something with it. Nothing there, throws the ball away, intentional grounding, no one on the sidelines. Boom, second and 21 right here. Okay, so I see what happened. I was wondering what happened. So I remember, I remember this play, and going into this play when he audible to this, my thing is stop a tight end post over here. So I have all these zones over here, and then I'm going to use that a tight end if he's on a streak or a corner route or if he has a crosser from the right to the left. And then also I need to stop a running back wheel route. So I'm going to have this vert hook there. So when I man up the running back and he wins immediately, this guy on the vert hook can immediately be there. So that was my that was my game plan. But as you guys see, hold on, let me try to rewind this so I can actually catch my adjustments. I, I do not like the rewind on this. The rewind on this is really bad. Okay, I'm going to have to pause and try to catch it. All right, chat. Oh, I said chat. All right, so as you guys see, I have a vert hook on Calvin and the linebacker manned up. This should be perfect defense. This should literally be perfect defense. But what happens is sometimes when you man up the linebacker and they have the running back on the route, for some odd reason, these guys will switch assignments. So Calvin ends up manning to him, and this guy goes into a hook. So that, like, that cost me bad. So... Yeah, that, that's why he got this. Like, the game just glitched out. Like, I did, I did not make that adjustment, and the game just switched it. It was supposed to be perfect defense. That's literally what I tried to defend, but the game just told me no. So, he ends up catching that. He's going to take a timeout, and he's just going to get three. I'm still not tripping. I feel like I'm playing great defense, great offense. I'm 11 for 12, 245, three touchdowns. So, I'm not tripping. As long as I don't do anything stupid, I, I feel fine. One more in a second and one. Already at the 40 yard line. We must have took the kick out. Hike. Just hit the flat. I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss a read. Praying I don't fumble. And boom, we audible to this. We have a corner out. I don't know. His defense was messed up right here. I don't know what he was doing. Big thing with this Lamar Jackson is he has running gun. So when you get this running gun ability or X Factor activated, all you have to do is throw the pass on the run and it's going to be accurate almost no matter what. So we motion out. We have the corner route. Big thing, if y'all don't know this, when you have an ability like this where you're going to make the pass accurate no matter what, you want to wait as long as possible to throw this ball. So I see him open now, but I'm just waiting for him to just get more room and separation from everybody else so I can probably get a touchdown off of this. That's a big thing. You don't want to throw this right now. You want to wait as long as possible. See, the longer I waited, hold on, let me go back. The longer I waited, the big player to watch, why is he not playing? What is going on? Okay, the big thing to watch is this safety right here, or whichever safety is in the third. I think it, I think it was Mike Evans, so let's see. Yeah, Mike Evans is in his third, right? Oh, no, no, it's Kyle Hamilton. The big thing to watch is you see how he's rolling over here? He, he has, like, a pursuit angle to, like, really catch on. As soon as he, like, back paddles and looks away from that DB, boom. He, he stops running with him, starts back paddling. That's when I'm going to throw it. And right there, that's 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 the difference between getting a touchdown off of this and getting like 20, 30 yards. So that's or not not 20, 30 yards, excuse me. But getting to like the red zone and getting tackled. Big things like that, you know, you just throw the ball later. Uh, you know, it's always the little things, right? It's always the little things that just makes, you know, like the pro players the pro players. It's things like that. Not even like knowing like, you know, glitch cheese blitzes. I mean, obviously those help and things like that, but that's what really separates like pros from like other pros. So, boom, go ahead, kick the ball off. Playing this. I feel like he's running, so boom, I do that. Yep. Earlier earlier I said I like to man up this linebacker right here to this guy right here to stop the RPO bubble. 
And this is exactly why he goes to the RPO bubble. He calls it. Boom, we can make a tackle instantly. He only gets a yard. I'm telling y'all, there's, there's a method behind the madness. There's a method behind the madness. Right here, he goes to this motion running back again. Why he keeps doing this, I have no idea. I like, I've never seen anybody like do this, so I didn't really get the point. Goes to a flat and running back wheel route. I mean, it's just not going to get open like that. We don't send the guy. Big thing right here, I know you like to send, I know y'all like to send people and stuff, but just thinking about, you got to think about situations, right? So I've been playing great defense this game. How he has 20 points, I don't know. You don't know, God doesn't know. Well, God knows, but <laughs> y'all know what I mean. Like, it's he's had a struggle of 20 points. So I'm not going to send this DB and potentially risk him getting like 30, 40 yards on this. I'd rather get him, I'd rather him get his five, six, seven yards on the scramble at worst instead of giving up that big play because there's no reason to be aggressive. You only get aggressive if you feel like you don't, you, if you feel like you can't get a stop. That's when you get aggressive. But I feel like I'm playing great defense. So I'm not going to send this DB. I'm going to let him try to roll out and do his thing. And he ends up gaining nothing. So you don't have to send a guy every time. You got to you gotta really think about the situation you're in and all of that. Boom, 39. I'm just sending three right here. He hikes. He has the C route to the left. He misses him. We get it sheds, and he just has to throw the ball away. Fourth and nine now. I think I'll play coverage here again. I really like playing coverage out of this because uh, a lot of people just expect the blitz. So, boom, he hikes. We're on all of that. Nothing there for him. We sit there and we swat. Just want to swat. Uh, going for a pick, I don't want to risk. Nothing stupid to happen, so I'll just go for the swat. First and 10, we go out of bounds. We end up fumbling, but it didn't matter. We were out of bounds. Second and six, I hike the ball. And as you guys see, I don't know what's wrong with like my Xbox or game and stuff, but sometimes my game just skips. I don't know why. So right here, I hike. My game skipped a little bit, and we just get screamed at. I couldn't get out and throw the ball away. So I was like, oh, my God. So honestly, I'm not even tripping because I'm playing such good defense. Like when I'm playing good defense, I feel like I'll never lose. I Even if somebody like this guy has 20 points, but like I'm, I'm my confidence is so high right now. I feel like I, I don't even need this first down, and I'm not even going to trip. But boom, we just hike double corner routes right here. We hike. We roll out because we have running gun still, so we can try to make a throw on the run, but he ends up bagging everything. It was great defense. We're just going to end up taking our three. Kick the ball off. Now, we got you know when you got somebody messed up? As you guys know, earlier in the game, anytime he was on a 25 in the middle of the field, he was running the ball. Now he's motioning his running back. Now when somebody motions the running back, that obviously means it's not a run play. You can't motion your running back on a run play. Uh, maybe in real life, but not in Madden. So he motions over. Uh, so I know it's a pass play. So I already know I got him messed up because he's not running the ball anymore to get on the hash. He doesn't like the defense I've been playing. He hikes the ball. We don't scream at him, but it's perfect defense. He has to throw the ball away. Big thing about him throwing the ball away, he's still in the middle of the field. So boom, second and 10. Now, this time, he runs the ball, and it just so happens to be the worst run defense we played this game. I don't know why. We had to tackle early, but tackling is just broken in this game. Like, how, how does Sherman, when he jukes back, how does Sherman not make this tackle here? Like, where does Sherman go? He just runs, like, he just runs past him. Like, it just doesn't make sense. But it's all good. Uh, he's not running hurry up either for some odd reason. But boom, third and two, he hikes. He went to a formation I've never seen before. Like, he, he went to this, and he called such a weird route combo. Like, he called, like, an in route, and then I had two-thirds. So I went to go guard. The, I don't know. I just was trying to not give up anything deep. That's all I care about. Don't give up nothing deep. You know, he ends up hitting that underneath for a first down, but, you know, it's whatever. Boom, first and ten. He just hikes this, hits the guy underneath. I just go, I want to tackle. That's all I care about. Just keep this clock moving. Second and five. Right here, I switched defenses too because even though he doesn't like the blitz, I just went to something more conservative. Uh, I don't want to give up a touchdown or anything because as confident as I felt on defense, I also felt extremely confident on offense. So I just didn't want to give up anything big and want to play touchdowns. Third and four. He 
Yikes. And he gets an overthrow. Big overthrow. Uh, he actually threw that pass perfectly. Right when he threw it, my flat was coming down. So fourth and four. Uh, I think I... If, if I know myself, I'm playing coverage here. I don't know myself, though, because this is definitely not coverage. Right here, uh, I have just have a hook, but I end up switching it last second. And then he calls that. So if I left this hook like this and played defense like this, this actually would have been perfect defense. But I literally switched it last second because I'm like, there's no way he does like a hook or something right there. But lo and behold, he did end up doing a hook. So boom. First and ten. Just sent him five. He ends up hitting his corner route. We knock it out, but we knock it out as he was moving out of bounds. You know, that's not a catch in real life, but in this game, it is a catch, so there's that. First and ten. You know, we're just uh, trying to stop the run, and we do J.J. Watt. And then right here, second and 12. So we think he's going to pass. I'm not going to lie. I did not think he was going to do anything else but pass here. I see that it's an RPO, and I saw it last second, and he ends up catching me. So another thing with this RPO, right? Uh, the R I won't be able to explain this without being on offense and showing you guys. But, for example, and when you call RPOs, there's an R. And whoever the R is on, they're going to play the run no matter what. So if the R was on my free safety right here, and they had like a streak on Tyreek, and the safety was manned up to Tyreek, they could just throw the streak for a touchdown every single play. Because the R is always going to go after the running back and quarterback. So me, the way I play defense right here, I thought my R was on this inside corner. Because that's what he's usually on. But sometimes it glitches out and it went to this outside corner. So I had him manned up on this receiver. And I just thought it was going to be bagged. And he ends up biting on the read option. the Or the RPO last second. So he ends up getting a touchdown off of that. Then he goes for two. He calls a formation that I actually call a lot. This dude is like, he's a, he's like a subscriber of mine. So he actually plays like me a lot. So he ends up calling that, catches me with it. He goes for an onside kick. I'm using this guy, so I could just go pick it up myself. Kicks it. As you guys see, I run in so I can grab it. I grab it with myself and we have the ball. So I'm not even thinking of clock right here. I'm thinking, honestly, I should just go get seven. That's really all I care about, just trying to get seven. But I'm also trying to take the clock, too. So, like, I'm playing conservative, but I'm also playing aggressive, if that makes sense. <laughs> Excuse me. So right here, boom, as you guys see, uh... We have running gun active still. So I love having running gun because I just start playing like a crackhead, bro. I just start rolling out for no reason. Like right here, I could have just stayed in the pocket, but I roll out because I know the pass is going to be accurate no matter what. And we ended up completing the touchdown. Oh, got the game to the pick. All right, so first and 10. I, I end up going back to my spinner defense because he was moving the ball too much versus the zone defense. So I go back to blitzing everybody. First and 10. Hike. We're on that. He can't really throw that. Mike Evans catches it underneath. It's a pick. Uh, and then we just go down. That really seals the game. Right here, he played good defense. I had the running back, but I just missed him. Right here, what do we end up? I end up calling like the same play pretty much. Call it. Roll out. Tyreek underneath. Go down so I don't fumble. Because that's the only way we lose this game. Second and inches. Dang, bro. When I, like, do that, he, like, glitches out the stream. Oh, that's why. Because that's the end of the stream. <laughs> All right, second inches, I'll just show this touchdown. I mean, the game's pretty much over. I just, I, I think I just run stretch left here and then score. Yeah, run stretch left, just stay to the outside, get to the one. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, that's when he just quit out. He just knew it was over. So that's pretty much that game chat. Or not chat, but y'all know what I mean. Uh, let me know, guys. Let me know how you guys enjoyed the inside the mind. Uh, if there's anything better I can do, I'm definitely gonna change my program so it's not 30 second skits. It's 10 seconds. I don't know why it would ever be 30 seconds. But yeah, uh, and yeah, just let me know if there's anything I need to change. How you guys enjoyed it? Uh, we got more gameplays, more uh, MCSLM games. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all of that. And yeah, that's the end of the video.